Hello everybody, Shasnabate here. So, uh, I got a drawing tablet for Christmas, and in my absolute infinite wisdom, I got a VR game. But, uh, that's not the point. The point is, I figured out that by just tapping buttons on my new art tablet, I could do things on my computer. So, let's put a Henry Stickman collection on a flippin' art tablet. This is gonna be absolutely just, oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh crap, what happened? Okay, that was just my new mic <laughs> setup being a mic. Oh my god, the freaking. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up, take out the pen here. Okay. So, how am I gonna prove that this isn't my mouse? I'm gonna flip my mouse over and put it in front of me. And, uh, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my art tablet, and you're gonna see the, uh, you should see it start to hover. So, how do I do things? Is, uh, there's a single button. <laughs> oh wow, I've already died. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this so much. Uh, I really hope you guys like this mic. It's working very well. Eh? How did we lose one? I think we should throw it in the back. Just to be safe. <laughs> you ever wonder why there's a bank out here? Mm, well, I think it's supposed to be like more of a vault, you know? Oh, that makes sense. Okay, I'm just gonna go for one ending. Oh, are you? You're free to go. I'm gonna take the easy way out as many times as I can. Witness? Please continue your testimony. Okay. I was riding alongside my partner in the armored man, but suddenly he spotted a bag on the side of the road. We got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. OBJECTION! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. Okay, I'm gonna do something quickly. Listen. If I'm on my mouse... Oh wait, I'm using my new mic. You, sh you aren't gonna be able to hear it. But... That's what my clicking normally sounds like. Uh, but I have my, I'm gonna unplug this and plug in my old mouse here. I'm just kidding, no I'm not. I don't know, have any way. Wait, why don't I just don't unplug the, why don't I just unplug, the, oh yeah, because I have to reset it and restart my computer. I'm not doing that. Uh. Take that! Is, is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes. But there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then... How did he tie the knot from the outside oh, of the bag? What? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. He didn't. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding in that bag at all. He was stuffed in there. By this very witness! As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, 
He was unconscious! Th this is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. There were millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from his tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. But it's come back to haunt him now. You guys can't, you can't, this, this, this can't be happening to me! Well, that certainly was an interesting trial. However, I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman, Oh, no, good company. Oh, it just crashed. That, well, that's, that's funny. Uh, let me flip my mouse over here. Mm, I just realized I forgot to fix that. Wait, what? That's really weird. Okay, I'll be back whenever this is fixed. All right, I'm back. I'm just gonna play one minute. Oh, wait, what? No. So, it kind of looks like the Sam Turret's shooting all of its missiles, but that can't be right. I just wanted to make sure. launching very soon. Please get on board immediately. I will not hesitate to leave you behind. Oh, we really gotta get you in there. I should be able to get you in there with this. Alright, Henry, uh, go ahead and grab onto the, the thing, and then I'll helicopter you across. Oh man, it looks like every member of the Top Hat Clan is on here. So, looking at a schematic here, um, if you get to the engine room, you can shut down the engine, and then uh, the rocket won't be able to take off, and then they'll all be stuck in here. 
so I'll call the distraction while you make a run for it to the engine room, got it? Alright, I know they have one of these aboard. I think I can remote hack into it. Look at me! I am the dancing robot! Oh yeah! Check me out! Keep looking over here! Do not get distracted by other things! Yeah, just uh, keep heading up those stairs and you'll hit that engine room in no time. I guess this rocket has an internal engine room? It probably, like, manages the electronics or something? I don't know. I'm not a rocket doctor. Anyways, do your thing, buddy. Seems like we're having some problems with the engine. Can we get the crew to look at that? Uh, shouldn't we be helping with the engine? Nah, they're sending some from the storage. Nice. Yeah, right. Disabling that engine is definitely gonna buy you some extra time. Now, here's what I'm thinking. If you can get up to the cockpit, you can gain control of the rocket, disable it, and lock everyone inside. Then I'll call in the reinforcements and we'll make these arrests easily. It's a pretty good plan, right? Oh god. Did you fix the engine? Why, well, hold it right there. Wait a minute, I know you. You're the guy that arrested the airship division, and now you're here to bring down the rest of us. Henry, are yep. you in trouble? If you're in trouble, say flank steak. No wait, if you're in trouble, say nothing. Yeah, uh, I still can't tell. Oh, actually I can see it from here. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Let alone a rocket! I got your back, buddy! <laughs> I got the sniper that spots out bad guys. So I'll just take him out from here. Don't worry, there's there's zero chance that I'll hit you with this. Uh-oh, I'm losing control. No, oh boy, this really is late. bad. This is really oh, oh boy. Oh I man, and I dropped my sniper and rifle. Come saw. on. I almost got control. Almost got it. Oh, there well, we go. Nope, nope, I'm talking about it. I got that going for me, I guess. <laughs> The old leaders left details for this plan, and I had to dig the- ah. Okay then, let- uh. You did it! Now you just gotta lock it up! Alright, time to call in the reinforcements. Uh, sir, you might want to get us out of here. We got the government coming right now on our front door. Sir? Hello? Please open the locks and let us get to our weapons. Henry! Nice work, man. Yeah, this is, uh, this is every last remaining member getting hauled off. Fine work indeed, boys. You two really do make a fine team. I'm promoting you both into special covert ops agents. What? Henry's not even enlisted. Well, he is now, unless he doesn't want it. You'll be running a lot more missions together with Charlie. <laughs> Alright guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share if you want. Uh, I'm not doing this again. That was hard. Bye. Just snipe it out. Bye.